So this is my very first on hands look when it comes to the latest macOS 15 Sequoia update that has just been released. Spoiler alert, this update has some pretty neat new features and changes. Going into the system settings right here and then the general tab and software update, boom, you can see we have macOS Sequoia 15 beta 3. If you don't see this update or you are having an issue finding it, if you go to where it says macOS Sequoia developer beta since it's only available to developers right now and you turn this off and turn it back on and give it some time then it will show up as a notification right here software update mac os 15 sequoia beta 3 so i'll quickly start the download process and agree to the terms and conditions for some reason i got the failed to personalize the software update please try again and you can see an error occurred while downloading the selected files take your internet connection which is pretty sturdy and then try again and so i'll agree again the actual download file size you can see it here 2.95 gigs and i'm updating for mac os 15 beta 2 just like that i'm now up to date so going into the system settings right here you can already see the first change that this update introduces and it has to do with this general tab so the banner has has been updated as well as the logo so the new one seems to match more of that of a single gear with different arms and that goes to correspond with this setting subsection that you see here and at the same time if you look at the font it's been made lighter on the bottom but then it seems to have been darkened when it comes to the word general and also made bold at the same time i'll show you the quick software changes that have been updated here so give it a second and you can see the new build number that we have 24a 5289g so in terms of stability this just goes to show that we are expecting a couple more betas until we can sort of say we have something that's stable now like i mentioned at the start of this video this update is packing and it's actually packing in a lot of apple default applications such as quicktime right here and it's also packing in the apple music application as well as the apple tv app so if i open up the apple tv app it's been updated so the version has been updated too and it matches this that also corresponds to the Apple Music version but now if you go to where it says TV and go to settings there is a new sub menu section that has been added that changes the way you will experience Apple TV and media on the Mac so on the playback you can see we have this section that says HDMI pass through and if you click there you can turn this off or you have the ability to turn on and once it's on it says play supported audio in dolby atmos and other dolby audio formats using hdmi pass through when connected to a supported device and here you can actually click and read more about this now keep in mind that since this is in beta and it's not yet officially released you can see the contents are not yet available and they are coming soon. From what I've seen online, this is not the actual full res of high bitrate lossless Dolby Atmos audio, but at least you are able to get real Dolby Atmos through the Mac using HDMI. iPhone mirroring has also been updated right here. So if I unlock my Mac using my Touch ID, you can see it tells you the iPhone that you are connecting to and not your name. And at the same time, you can see some of the updates that have been added with the latest iOS version version such as dark third party icon you can see this google is a third party app and it's in dark mode so that carries over at the same time and the scaling also seems to have been fixed unlike before and at the same time the border seems to be more dynamic the resolution as well has been improved from the previous update where it was grainy and not carrying the full resolution of the different apps that you can go into now continuing with the iphone since this has to do with notifications too under desktop and dock in this subsection here we used to have a notification option but now if you go into the notification tab and you see this option that says allow notifications from iphone this now works seamless and if you have different notifications that you want to look into you can see the animation and transition for the iphone is quicker unlike what we had before where there was like a white screen and then it would pop up 
under the system settings right here you can see we have some sort of rearranging depending on priority and i don't really know why siri has now been put between the screen saver and wallpaper but under the siri tab we still have the old icon but if you are using ios 18 that has apple carplay you now get the new updated siri icon in settings but here we have the old one and at the same time some of the menus and word phrases have been changed and this used to be on top but now it's on the bottom but speaking of siri and apple intelligence something that isn't sort of in the best news right here you can see that it mentions here according to bloomberg that apple intelligence launches in the fall while the entire new version of siri will not be available at this time and other siri features such as a new design and chat gpt integration should be present upon the debut of apple intelligence this year so yes we will get apple intelligence this fall but then not all features that pertain to siri such as the new design and chat gpt integration will be available initially at launch something that mac os 15 sequoia needs to improve on that the iphone seems to be doing well is dark icons in dark mode so for example you can see that some certain mac applications when you go into dark mode such as this iphone mirroring even the iphone wallpaper itself will go into dark mode so what i mean by this if i go into the control center display and then enable dark mode you can see here the iphone mirroring goes into dark mode but then you still have other default apple applications such as system settings freeform calculator that are sort of an iso in dark mode but look at application such as iphone mirroring the attention to detail that apple is able to do if they bring this forward so we've already seen dark icons including third party on the iphone and it will be good to have those on the mac as well and this is something that i'm pushing through the feedback assistant app and sending apple an update when it comes to screen savers and wallpapers it's notable that tvos has actually the same screen savers that we have on mac os and one such screen saver that we've been promised when it comes to tv os 18 is one that's going to depict snoopy and the beagle doing different animations and just fooling and playing around but at this point in time i haven't been able to see that in this update of mac os should that change and then i'll let you know so definitely do hit subscribe so that you stay updated an application that has been updated is shazam so when you open it up for the first time you're going to see a new animation and at the same time you're going to see a new pop-up screen prompting you to allow microphone and when you click listen to a song you will see a new animation as well that's something i won't be able to show because my microphone is currently in use to make this video something that has changed here is the new emoji character view and you can see how some of these icons have been updated so for example this is what's existing on the old update so smileys and people you can see there's a smiley emoji with we have the picture of a rat right here we have food it's like a burger and a drink activities we have a soccer ball travel in places it's a car besides building symbols it's a combination of different symbols such as the music and and but now if you update you can see how that has been updated so instead of a bear here for example we have a dog and instead of like a food and drink we have an apple instead of a car behind the building you can see it's just a car by itself and instead of different symbols you can see here it's just the heart itself even though apple intelligence isn't fully here on mac os 15 sequoia beta 3 you can see what image playground looks like in this update and of course extra steps had to be taken by aaron p613 to be able to show this but at least you get a glimpse of how this is going to look and if you are wondering what is image playground well Apple's new AI powered image generator is called Image Playground and this is just a glimpse of how the user interface and UI is going to look like once it's been fully implemented in Mac OS 15 Sequoia. So basically as you can see this update does have some pretty good features and changes that it offers pretty good on the hdmi pass through we get to see a glimpse of image playground and at the same time feel free to look up the release notes on some of the resolved issues and bugs that are still existing the public beta should be coming out pretty soon so stay tuned for that and um, i'll be covering watch os and ios here on the channel so if that's something you want to see definitely hit that like and subscribe so that you stay up to date peace